up. So um, I went for a walk this morning instead of instead of this evening. This morning, um, I've had some things on my mind. Um, I don't take my phone on my walks with me uh, with the dog because you know I'd rather have a have a nice bit of peace, no bleeps, no blings, no frequencies. Mm. But I wanted to I wanted to ask this. How fucking serious is this shit? How serious is coronavirus? Like I mean it's fucking serious. Like you by what's going on, right? But like supermarkets some supermarkets are only letting like one person in at a time sometimes two if they you know but they're letting them in with no masks <laughs> so why don't you go into the food store with no mask and gloves on but you know only one at a time I saw a uh, police wagon going down the seafront while I was on my walk, three deep, no masks, looking to enforce a law. I just, inside of me is a burning feeling that our freedom is being, gonna be stripped. I don't like being told what to do by a government I don't believe in or trust or even want anything to do with. So it's all hugely conflicting, you know. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's feeling their own thing. I'm just, I'm just chucking it out here. You know, I'm a sharer. You know that. I just, I'm, I'd rather share. I'd rather chuck a topic out there. <sighs> Honestly, I'm not happy about it. Something just don't feel right to me. It's as simple as that. It just don't feel right. I'm staying, I'm keeping the fuck away from people, all right? And it's annoying me. Because uh, I don't feel like enough care is being given. So I thought before I made this video, I was going to like hop online quick. Go and watch some uh, live, live houses of parliament. <coughs> Watch some live out of the parliament. Fun, right? Well, it's not live. I said live. Wrong word. It's a video of the Houses of Parliament. But that was uh, 20 seconds. What, well, two days ago. And this guy was saying how pleased he is that Parliament's back open. So democracy can thrive. And we won't be fucking beaten by a bug. And it did. No, how many of them in that room were closer than two metres together? <sighs> All those people from different fucking households are going into the same fucking building, walking through the same fucking front door. Not one of them, not one of them is wearing a fucking mask. Not one of them's wearing a fucking mask. Let's just play this. Oh, there you go. That. That's a harsh thing to hear. From a tone of voice I just don't trust anyway. I don't want to hear what he's saying. I don't want to hear his pleads of sympathy on people when we've got uh i'm just you know, don't look at this we delivered the olympics right now people here's the puppet show we have running our lives oh look at this look can i i can't switch the fucking camera around can i all right let's see if i can you see this guy up in this top corner up here <laughs> <laughs> fucking slouched right down Looks like he's asleep next to his mate who's half pissed next to him. And there they are. With our choice. With our responsibilities. It, I'm just something... I don't trust governments. Because they're not to be trusted when you look at the history. I don't trust them. And this is not right. And you've got the houses of fucking parliament open. Right? And there they are. 
No masks, no nothing. How serious is this? Three deep in a cop car, no masks. How serious is this? No, like, it's not making a great deal of difference to my day-to-day -day life with how I'm living at the moment. But it could have done. And it can do. And the things that we don't see are often some of the most important, like our emotions. You know, like our energy, like our intent. You know, I know I'm talking about some bullshit, but my intentions are good. I want people to realise how good we are. We're not born sinners for all the religious people. You know, I just want us all to have a fucking better way of living. It's, it's not that hard to breed acceptance. It's not like equality, like... You know, everyone has the same fucking house, car, job, bank account balance. What? No. <laughs> that's that's just... You, you, I don't think... Like, if you want a global society that has some type of a connection, you need a connective tool, right? You know, it's, it's one of the ways... <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. But still, I just... I think... Something doesn't smell right to me. There's not enough proper action being taken for a, a bug, for an illness, for a virus that is going to shut us all in our houses. Planes are still flying. People are still moving around spreading stuff. The authorities and everyone connected to them are not acting right. I'm not saying like there's some conspiracy. On some level I am, but I don't think the conspiracy involves probably anyone in the police force or any low or even medium or even medium high level government. Of, I don't believe in conspiracies like that. I don't think there's like this chain of conspiracy all the way down. It just seems pretty obvious in society. Once you get people thinking in group set mentalities, then it's easier to feed autopilot responses. Um, and also, actually, um, I'm trying to think of what's the name of the guy. <sighs> He's a philosopher. I like a lot of philosophy. I do like a lot of philosophy, but um, I just got lost in trying to think of the guy's name there. Is what it is. Don't know, man. I just, I want everyone to be respectful of themselves and other people. It's something I've always tried to promote for, but I go way past over and beyond, like, British politeness, you know. Um, and I just... I just don't feel like this is this is right. The fact that Houses of Parliament are open now, all these people are in the same building, no masks. Yeah, everyone's talking about lockdown. Everyone's talking about sacrificing their freedom. I just think it all is worth thinking on. All right. Uh, we've just got to face negative bullshit with a positive mental attitude and that's balance in itself, right? <laughs> Peace.